Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Maria and today I'm going to show you the products that I use in my evening skincare routine. I'm not going to demonstrate how I use them in this video but if you'd like to see that in the future I'm more than happy to do that. Just let me know in the comments below. So those of you that are new to my channel, I am 52 years old. I'm going to be 53 this year. So I have mature skin. I also have oily skin. So there's issues with enlarged pores. I have wrinkles and a bit of texture on my skin. About two, two and a half years ago, I completely changed my skincare routine in the morning and in the evening. I had always, since a very young age, cleansed, toned and moisturized but my skin still had quite a bit of texture. I still used to break out with pimples and sometimes I would get cystic acne as well. Not a lot, just a little bit but enough for it to be painful and just really unsightly. So I decided to do some research and figure out what I really needed for my skin. Now before I started YouTube and did Instagram, I never used to take close-up photos and I certainly didn't take any photos of myself without makeup on. So I don't have photos of what my skin used to look like, but there has been a huge improvement. And I do often get comments in my video that my skin does look really good. And like other people, I have good skin days and days where it doesn't look so great but it is just a complete turnaround now that I've introduced these new products into my routine. The other thing is that I'm not an esthetician, I'm not a dermatologist, I'm not a doctor. I'm just someone that looked at a whole lot of different YouTube videos, then did some research on the internet and figured out from each of the videos that I watched which would suit my skin best. So although these products suit me and they work well for my skin, they may not for you. But really this video is like a conversation with a friend. I'm sitting down, they've asked me, Maria, what do you use in your evening skincare routine? And then I tell them what I use. And because I have seen such great results with my skin, I just wanted to share with you what I use. The other thing is, is that I don't have Botox or fillers. Now it's not that I've never used them, but the last time I used Botox and fillers was, it would have been about six or seven years ago. Now I am thinking of getting some Botox and possibly a little bit of filler again this year. It's not going to be until later in the year though. And if I get it, it'll be August or September. But I want to be upfront with you and let you know if there's any extra things that I use. But no, there is no Botox and no fillers at the moment. Now, if I do get Botox or fillers later in the year, like I said, maybe about August, September time, I will definitely let you know that I've had that done. Now the products that I use would be considered high-end and some luxury but the very first product that I use is actually really budget and you can even buy it from the supermarket. Well you can here in New Zealand. So the first thing that I do is I use those the Shiseido, the, those cotton pads. I find that they're just really robust. They don't break down especially if you're using an acid type of product. But the first thing I do is I soak two cotton pads and I use the Nivea Double Effect Eye Makeup Remover. This is the product. You can see how it's separated because it has oil in it. So I just give it a shake and I soak the cotton pads. This is really cheap. This would probably be about six New Zealand dollars. It's just that I've used this for years and years. I have heard that the Clinique Eye Makeup Remover is really good and there's lots of others as well. And I may try them out in the future, but I just picked this up at the supermarket and I have three or four backups in my cupboard and it just works really, really well. So once I've soaked the cotton pads, I hold them over my eyes for about 20 to 30 seconds to let all that I make it remove it just soak into my lashes and then I just wipe the cotton pads away and most of the makeup comes off and the rest that is left in there I just rub along not really my eye or the skin underneath 
but rub it just along my lashes and that gets off about 90% of my eye makeup. Then I either go in with a cleansing oil or cleansing balm. I use both. I find both really effective. I've just finished using the Sicily, I think it's called the Triple Oil Cleansing Balm and I have a backup of that but I'm not using that at the moment because I recently picked up, it's the Chanel Anti-Pollution Cleansing Oil and this smells absolutely gorgeous this has really beautiful ingredients in it as well and what I do whether it's a balm or it's an oil I rub it all on my face or massage it in and down my neck and my chest and once I've done that massaging probably for about 30 seconds to a minute then I wet my hands and I just have warm water and then I always emulsify it and I emulsify it whether I'm using a balm or a cleansing oil like this one. Now I've seen a lot of videos recently where people use cleansing oil or balm and they don't do that step of wetting their fingers and then emulsifying the product. And if you do that it just helps break down all the makeup and it just makes the cleansing oil or the cleansing balm that you're using just that little bit more effective. And then I go in with a cleanser and I have a few cleansers in my bathroom cupboard. I have about four or five and I just use the one that I feel like using that evening. I have the Touch One, the rice wash. I have the new Chanel D number one, which is absolutely beautiful. And I just rotate these round. But the one that I've been using for the past few nights, and I think this is a beautiful cleanser. This is the Sicily, it's the Radiance Foaming Cream. And this is the packaging. Now when you pump this product out, it comes out like a foam. And it stays foamy while you're cleansing. But it also feels like a cream as well. I find this really soothing. This has really beautiful ingredients in it. And once you wash that off, your skin doesn't feel stripped at all. It just feels soothed and supple and ready for unique skincare items. It's a really lovely cleanser. About three to four weeks ago, I picked up the new face, the Trinity device. This is a microcurrent device. This is what it looks like. And once I've done the step of using the cleansing oil or cleansing balm and then a cleanser and then my face is dry, then I use this together with the new face gel that it came with. And that's the next step I do. Now the gel that comes with this device, you don't have to use that gel. I'm just using it because it came with the set that I purchased. But when I've finished using this device, I wash the gel that comes with it. I wash that off my face. I only use it while I'm using this device. Some people pat that gel in. I don't do that. I just wash it off with a washcloth and then go in with my next product. Now, it's only early days using the New Face Trinity device. So at the moment, I'm really happy with how it's working, but I want to give it a good three to six months until I really decide whether it's worth having in my skincare routine or not. So the next step is an essence toner. You can use an essence or a toner. I use either one. And this is a Korean one. Now I really love Korean beauty skincare. I've used a lot in the past. I find they have just amazing ingredients. And one of the sunscreens that I use on my face that is a Japanese one and it is absolutely beautiful and goes beautifully under makeup. So the essence toner that I'm using at the moment is the Pyongkang Yul. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. And this is the bottle that it comes in. Now this product is fragrance free and most of this brand's products are fragrance free and they just have the minimal amount of ingredients you need in there. They don't pad it with anything extra and I'm pretty sure that nearly all, if not all, of their products are fragrance free. This is quite a liquid type of essence. It's not as runny as water, just slightly thicker than that, but it is still very runny. It has a type of root extract in it. I just find that an essence just helps rebalance your skin again after oil cleansing and using your cleanser 
and it also helps just pack in the moisture because even though that I have oily skin you can also get dehydrated skin so I don't want dehydrated skin it's likely to make my oily skin produce even more oil so I really want it to be hydrated and I find this perfect for that now everything that I'm mentioning in the video today I will have linked in the description box below and next is a product that I've been using since I changed my skincare routine. This is the Timeless Coenzyme Q10 Serum. This has Metrixyl 3000, this has Glycerin, Hyaluronic Acid and Vitamin E. So it's full of peptides, just really beautiful ingredients. It sort of has a yellow colour, it's quite a runny consistency. It goes beautifully on the skin, it soaks in beautifully as well. I use this in the morning and this is the packaging. It is a really lovely product. Now because I use this twice a day, this is quite a large bottle, it's 120 mils. Now I tend to be quite heavy handed with my skincare. A bottle of this usually lasts me about three to four months. It probably could last at least six to eight months. But like I said, I'm just heavy handed with my products. And with all the products, unless I state otherwise, I put them on my face, I put them on my neck, and I put them on my chest as well, and the back of my hands. But I'll let you know if there's a product that I show you where I don't put it on my neck and chest. Now the next product is a moisturizer, and this is for my neck and chest, because I'm not gonna put any other products on my neck and chest for the night. My neck is, like many other people's, it's very, very sensitive. So it's sensitive to acids, it's sensitive to retinol, so I just have to take it fairly easy. Otherwise, I find that my skin barrier gets compromised and it can get quite sore if you do that. So the moisturizer at the moment that I'm using on my neck and chest, this is the Tatcha Indigo Overnight Repair Cream. Now this is fragrance free, it has really beautiful soothing ingredients. Now I was saying that I'm heavy handed with my skincare, but with this you really need the tiniest amount. It just has this great slip to it and a little amount goes a really long way. Another moisturizer that I used and really loved and I will repurchase again for my neck and chest. I don't know whether it's for specifically your neck and chest, but I just found it really good for that. And that is the Augustacine, it's the Beta, it's the Rich Luxe Cream. I thought it was too rich for my face, but I did use the deluxe sample that I had and I was able to use it for a good four weeks on my neck and chest and I thought that was just fabulous. It's sort of hard to describe the difference that I saw in my neck but I did feel that the next morning and over the days that I used it, it just seemed to look more hydrated and when your skin looks more hydrated, the less visible lines and wrinkles that you can see. And next I put on an eye cream and I do this before I apply my retinol. And the reason I do that is by putting a moisturizer around my eyes, it creates a buffer. Because even though I rub retinol in really, really well, when you go to sleep at night, it still can tend to migrate. And if you have too much getting into your lines or that very sensitive area under your eyes, you can get irritation issues. So this is the Tatcha Ageless Revitalizing Eye Cream. This is the packaging that it comes in. This is fragrance free as well. Now this is quite a thick cream. I hope it'll show up. This is what the cream looks like. And I don't mind using heavy products at night. I can't use this eye cream in the morning for me with my oily skin. I find it would just be a little bit too thick. But this is a really beautiful product around your eyes. As I said, it's fragrance free. It's full with really great ingredients. They're soothing. They're hydrating. And they help plump up the skin. So that the skin around your eyes looks really hydrated when you wake up in the morning. And next I go in with a retinol. Now I use retinol about four or five nights in a row and then I take a night off and the night that I 
don't use retinol I use an AHA a glycolic acid so I'll show you the, the retinol that I'm using at the moment this is the drunk elephant the retinol cream this is the packaging that it comes in it has just a pop-up dispenser I use a full pump of this on my face and I also put half a pump of this on the back of my hands and rub them together because I put retinol on my hands as well. Now I know there's sort of remixed views around the drunk elephant retinol. Some people absolutely love it like I do or some people find that it can be just a bit harsh on their skin. I've had no issues with this retinol whatsoever. Now I started using retinol about two years ago. When I first started using it, it was a very slow and steady progression to how I use it now. It took me eight months to a year to get to the stage how I use it now and I never really had any issues with retinol whatsoever. The only issue that I got, and I still get that now, is when you go to sleep at night even if I've really rubbed it in well, which I do, it can still, when you're sleeping, it can migrate to the corners of your mouth. And I tend to sleep on this side. So it works its way into the corners here. And this part here can get really dry and cracked. But a good way of preventing that is to either put on a very protective type of lip sleeping mask and make sure it comes out here. And this is before you put your retinol on or a very cheap product to use that works fine and I still use this sometimes at night and that is the very old brand and it's just good old Vaseline. It works really, really well and I don't find it too thick around this area. I actually find it really good for moisturizing your lip area at night. But if you haven't used retinol before, then you do have to take it slowly, otherwise you'll end up with a lot of flaking, a lot of peeling, and if you really overdo it, I never sort of had that issue unless I put it on my neck when I shouldn't have, but it can get quite red and raw. You're gonna end up with a compromised skin barrier, and then you're gonna end up with a sensitive skin. And if you haven't had sensitive skin before, it's not a nice thing to have, and then you'll need to go through the process of just repairing your skin barrier before you can start using the retinol again. So it just pays to take it really slow and steady when beginning retinol. And the night that I don't use retinol, there are two different AHAs I use. These are a glycolic acid. One is that I've been using since the beginning. It's a Paula's Choice. It's the daily smoothing treatment and this is a 5% AHA. Now this one you leave on your skin and stays on overnight and I just put a moisturizer over the top and I find this is really enough every fifth night or so. Now every two or three weeks, sometimes even only once a month, I haven't got the product here in front of me and it's another Paula's Choice product. There are other brands that put this out now too and it's an AHA and a BHA, it's 25% AHA and 2% BHA and the BHA is your salicylic acid and you leave them on for 10 minutes and then wash them off. They are really effective products but you have to take it really easy with products like that. I find this 5% that you leave on every fifth night or so and then maybe once a month using a more stronger AHA is plenty for my skin. If your skin can tolerate more, that's fantastic, but I just like to take it really easy. Now, I don't have sensitive skin. I actually have really robust skin, but there have been times when I have overdone it in the past and have compromised my skin barrier. And I know when I have, because when I use a makeup brush that I can't feel on my skin at all, I can slightly feel it when I'm using it. It just feels a bit sensitive and I know then that I've overdone it and it's usually because of an AHA. And then once I've got my retinol on or the AHA depending on which night it is, then I go in with a moisturizer. Now I've recently been trying, it's the Tata Harper, it's the Waterlock moisturizer and this is the packaging that it comes in. And this just has a pull-off lid and then you pump it to get the product out. 
this product has really beautiful moisturizing ingredients in it. Now this also has lactic acid in it. Lactic acid is a type of glycolic acid, but it's a very mild form of it. So my skin is fine to be able to use this every night. It is a really beautiful moisturizer. This does have a fragrance in it. It has an orange type fragrance. It just smells absolutely beautiful this is a heavier type of moisturizer well it is for me with my oily skin because i did try this in the morning i just found it a little bit too heavy for that but at night time this is absolutely perfect and i don't mind putting heavier products on my face at night you're only going to bed and i really like to lock in as much moisture as i can overnight because in the morning i always cleanse and get rid of any residue or excess product and oils that might be there in the morning. And then last but not least is an oil. And this is the La Prairie. It's the Skin Caviar Nighttime Oil. This is definitely a luxury product. I'm just going to try and get the camera to focus. And the packaging is beautiful. This is actually really, really heavy. It's made out of glass and you could do some serious damage with this if you dropped it it is really beautiful packaging there's no doubt about it but the packaging's all very nice and luxurious but of course you need to know how the product works well my husband bought this for me at christmas time so i've been using it since the 25th of december it is now at the time that I'm recording this video, it is the 1st of April. So I've had over three months use out of this. I think it's gonna last me at least six months, if not possibly seven to eight months. Now it has a pull off lid, and then it has a dropper, which you just twist open and the oil's inside. I use two drops of this oil. I know that there's people that put two drops of oil in another moisturizer. I don't do that with any products. I don't mix and match products like this. It doesn't say to on the site. And I think with a product like this, it's better just to use it on its own. So once I've got whichever moisturizer I'm using, this is my last step. So I put two drops on my fingertips and I just rub that together for a few seconds. And then I just press it around my face. So it's all distributed quite evenly and then i rub it in now this product has lots of just fantastic ingredients in it and one of the ingredients in this is retinol now i don't think the retinol in this is that strong in the ingredient list it comes down i think it might be halfway or even lower than that and there's nowhere on the la prairie site where i know the percentage of it now because i use the drug elephant retinol and this as well i've never had any issues so it does make me think that it is quite a low percentage of retinol but it is a beautiful oil. I mean, you can definitely see that you've got an oil on once I put it on, but I don't look overly greasy or <laughs> like a glazed donut or anything like that. It's a really beautiful product. And over the night, it really does, it soaks in and it does have a beautiful smoothing effect on your skin as well. It is a really gorgeous product. So that is all my skincare products and it may seem a lot and I suppose it is but I'm just used to it. I've been doing this now, this sort of routine for at least two years. I take the time in the evenings to do my skincare routine. I set aside 20 to 30 minutes and it is me time and I just find it just a really relaxing thing to do in the evenings. It's really, really lovely. And as much as I love putting makeup on, and I do love putting makeup on, by the time that it gets to the end of the day, I really love taking my makeup off as well. It's nice to give my skin a really good clean and know that I'm putting on all these great ingredients. And then when I wake up in the morning, I'm all ready to go again, do my morning skincare routine and put on my makeup for the day. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye.